Uh, I mean, this has been awesome. Um, I mean, we were ready for it for sure. Um, just after last year, kind of getting a little bit of a taste of it um, and, and not making it all the way. But um, last year, like I said, like we just kind of had a taste of it. But our goal was to, to make it to Omaha last year. That was our goal. And when we walked out of Mississippi State, we kind of looked at each other and we were like, our goal next year is to win the whole thing. So, I mean, this taste has been, it's, it's tasted amazing, to be honest with you. For a college baseball player, what is what is the word Omaha? Maybe one day I can get there. Um, I mean, for a college baseball player, that's really special. Um, I, but me personally, I've been watching that since I've been five years old and saying, you know, I want to go to Omaha. So um, when we finally made that last out, it was just surreal to, to know that we're going to, to Omaha this week. When you get there, how long do you kind of give yourself to soak it all in and enjoy the opening ceremonies before it's right back to business? Um, well, I think Coach said today we're going to be taking a little tour of the facilities. Um, I think that's when we'll soak it in and kind of be like, wow, we're here. And then tomorrow we'll have practice, and I think that's when you just kind of have to lock it in and uh, go from there and just try to take it one game at a time. Do you sense any challenge in the guys trying to focus in, or do you think everyone is so focused that they'll easily be able to kind of turn that page and just focus on baseball? Um, I don't really worry too much about the guys being focused for the games. I mean, we've done it all year, and um, I think I think we'll be ready to go. Dave, when, when Link approached you about the mustache down in Statesboro, <laughs> what were you expecting him to say? And what was that conversation? Like? Um, I, you know, I thought he was either going to join in on it, not join in on it, or at least allow it, or I thought it was going to be a, a no-go. But, um, you know, he, he liked them, and uh, here we are still riding with them. So. Who's got the best mustache? Ooh, uh I think Matt Lazar has a, has a pretty good mustache, if you, if you check it out. How would you rate yours? Ooh, mine's about like a six and a half, seven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Does it bother you? Like, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I like it because we're in the playoffs and we're winning. <laughs> David, Worst mustache. David, how did you... Uh, um, go, go ahead. Worst mustache. Worst mustache. Ooh. Because right, I've seen some that were... Um, Ryan Cole doesn't have a great one. He can't, he can't get one going right now, but he's trying his best. Oh, yeah. David, how did you have such a huge jump in your batting average this year? Um, I mean, I've had a lot of at-bats in my career here, and um, I, you know, you just kind of try to take what you've learned in those at-bats, the thousands of at-bats that I've had in college. So um, I think just really like putting that together and, and putting that mindset together is, is what has uh, allowed me to, to do better this year. Your development between freshman year and now, 20 years later, uh, <laughs> what's what's that been like for you? Uh, I mean, that's been awesome to just see, like, just the numbers going up and just see our team doing better since my freshman year. Um, it's really just been a, a grind, and you just put in the work and just hope that it pays off one day. And, and now we're finally seeing it pay dividends, so it's, it's been good. Where has Link made the biggest difference? Link has just made a difference just in game, um, like just really focusing on the details of, of every pitch, every at bat, um, defensively the same thing. Um, and I think that's really where, where Link has separated a lot of us. Dave, Knoxville last weekend, Starkville last year, Statesboro, you know, Miami, Charlottesville, all these different spots. How much of those stops along this journey do you think prepared you for this weekend in Omaha? Uh, yeah, I think that that. Um, that, that goes back to even like my freshman year. We've been traveling since I've been a freshman all the time. So, I mean, when you get out there, the bases are still 90 feet, 60 feet, six inches away. You just try to kind of play your game. It doesn't really matter where you are. When you win a regional without losing, then you beat the number one team in the country. What does that do for your confidence as you head into this weekend? I mean, we've always been, we've always been confident. Even last weekend, we were going into that, that weekend confident to the outside world. Maybe it looked like an upset, but um, in here we always knew that we had it in us to win. So I think that the confidence just, I don't know if it continues to grow or it kind of just stays where it's been at um, since the beginning of the year. Can you, can you put into words what the last 48 hours have been like, just being on the field in the locker room, just just the awareness that you guys are here? Yeah, I mean, it's been awesome. I, the, the vibes in the locker room and amongst the team has been the best I've ever seen. I mean, we're just excited to get out there at this point. Um, but I mean... The, the amount of joy that, that came out of us after we won in Knoxville was unbelievable. David, what do you remember from Link's very first meeting with you guys, and when do you think the buy-in came with you guys in regard to him? Um, well, I mean, I remember in the meeting, you know, it's just another 
it's a baseball coach, you don't know anything about him, so you just kind of are trying to get a feel for what he's about. But I remember in our first practice, we just were doing what we do now every single day, and we all looked at each other after practice, and we were like, that's the most work we've ever gotten done in that amount of time. Like, we're going to be so ready for the season when it comes. So even just from the first practice, we knew that we were going to be prepared. What's your initial take on Texas as you approach Friday? You know, I, I kind of leave the scouting report stuff to the coaches. I don't really, I don't know. I know they're a good team. Um, I mean, obviously you have to be a good team to make it to Omaha, but I'm just excited to play. Jake Finley, what makes him so dang good? You know, he, throw, he works off of his fastball, and um, he kind of has two different fastballs. He throws a cutter, and he throws a regular fastball. But um, And then he has pretty good off-speed stuff. But he's just pounding the zone. Very poised, um, especially for a freshman, and nothing really gets to him. He's just gonna make his pitches and just try to get you out. That cutter looks like it's got a lot of movement. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> David, when this ends, whenever it ends, like what's next for you? Do you, do you have like a job waiting for you? I don't have a job waiting for me right now. I, I don't really know what is next for me after this. Um, right now, I'm just trying to enjoy it and uh, ride the wave a little bit.